Hello folks, my name is Thomas. Welcome to another segment of How To with Alamia. What we're going to be going over in this segment is how to rotate the gearbox on a Honda GX120 or Honda GX160 engine. Uh, the only time you ever have to do that really is if you were to purchase a replacement engine through the mail or through your local dealer and they sell you the engine and they say, hey look, you need to rotate the gearbox before you install it on the machine. Some dealers are courteous enough to do that in the store for you. Uh, you just simply have to ask them. Otherwise, if you get it in the mail straight out of the box, Honda lots of times will package them in a more convenient way, and they're designed for other applications. So in our industry, where we're using them for aerators, we have to typically rotate the gearbox before it can be used or installed on the machine. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So this is an engine straight out of the box. There's nothing crazy or fancy about it. Typical GX120. Like I said, the Honda GX160 will be just like this. And this is your gearbox here on the engine. You'll see it sticks out. And what this is, is this is the 6 to 1 gear reduction ratio. That's going to change the speed of which the engine crankshaft is spinning, or at least the output shaft is spinning compared to the engine crankshaft. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually rotate this gearbox upwards. And the best way I can describe that to you, if you don't have the engine, uh, your old engine in front of you, is if you look, you can see this little indentation here, this curve. In order to fit on a Ryan aerator and other various brands, you have to make this curve go down on the bottom. So this gearbox needs to rotate upwards. And so the easiest way to do that is with a typical 12 millimeter socket or wrench. We have air tools here in the shop, so we're going to make life a little bit faster here. But you could easily use a 12 millimeter socket or wrench. The first thing you want to do is you want to check and make sure there's no oil in the gearbox. Because if you start taking this gearbox apart and taking it off, once you crack that seal, all the oil is going to spill out. So, easiest way I like to do is tilt the engine backwards. Remove the bolts and the washer. Tilt the engine downwards. There's no oil pulling them out. I know that I have an empty gearbox. So at this point in time, I can go ahead and reinstall this if you like, or you can leave it off if you want to refill it later. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start by taking off these four bolts right here. Now all of these bolts that we're going to be using are 12 millimeter, so feel free to just go at it. Once those four bolts are out, I use a soft rubber mallet. You can use the palm of your hand if you like, uh, but we're just going to tap or gently tap on the outer edge here, just this piece, to knock this off. There we go. That, was the outer, that is the outer cover. It will be always reinstalled with the arrow pointing up. Oil level this way and oil fill up. So you can discard that off to the side for momentarily and we'll come back to that later on. We need to remove this piece. Just simply pull off on it, give it a little shake or a jiggle. And you'll notice those are all the teeth and spline. That's the gear reduction part of it. And this is the actual crankshaft coming out of the engine. You'll see that it is splined. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to remove bolt 1, 2, 3, and 4. And once again, these are also 12 millimeter. All right. Now that those bolts are off, Sometimes this piece will fall off. If not, you may just have to give it a gentle tap with the hammer. But this piece is just going to slide right off like so. Keep in mind there is a gasket here. If this gasket starts to come off for any reason, just place it back where, where it was. That is an important gasket. And also keep in mind behind this, up against the base of the engine block, there is a gasket as well. So like I said earlier, what we're looking at is we're looking at this bow right here. We actually want to be able to make it so that it bows like this. So. From there, we're just going to simply rotate it up like this, and we're just going to re-install re, uh, the bolts, 
just as they came off. Next, we'll start by reinstalling this. Once again, you may have to give it a little encouragement to feel it really slide in there well. Keep in mind, there's no oil in here, so it's just metal on metal right now. Once that device is on, you can reinstall the cover. Remember, you want the up arrow facing upwards. This is a larger nut here, that's your oil fill. It's going to be a 17 millimeter socket. This is your 12 millimeter socket. 17 millimeter socket goes up. and simply just tighten these last four bolts. And there you have it. The gearbox has been rotated, so it's uh, designed to go on to a Ryan aerator at this point in time. This may be important for other brands of aerators as well, but like I said it's a very common uh, thing to have to have done for Ryan Air Raider.